Hi, I'm Dr. Owings, and I'm the Research and Development Scientist here at QTI, and I'm going to be demonstrating the Direct Temp Precision USB Thermometer. Today we're going to be using our standard probe. This is part of our DTU 6028001N. This is a calibrated NIST traceable probe that has an accuracy of a tenth of a degree Celsius from 0 Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. Because of the modular design of this product line, there are unlimited possibilities in terms of calibration, probe design, and application uses. You should have the direct temp software running before plugging in the probe. A new tab will appear next to the history plot tab on the left side of the screen. The serial number of your unit will appear in this tab as well as additional device information. Before we begin collecting data, let's go over the top menu options. First off, by clicking on File, you may open a previously saved file and view the data. Click on the History Plot tab to view. When you click on Devices, it will show the serial number or alias of the probes that are connected. By clicking on a particular probe, you can change or give the probe an alias. Change the unit of measure, begin reading, start logging data, change your settings like the polling interval, and also set alerts. You can have an audible alert for both low and high limits, have a pop-up window appear, or generate an email. So let's collect some data, but before we do so, I'm going to adjust the logging interval to a half a second and create a file by clicking on Browse. For this demonstration, I will name the file Demo and Save. Alright, now let's start collecting some data. Click on Start Logging and you will begin seeing reads. Now you can zoom in and out or move the start or end points while the probe is logging. Right now our probe is sitting on our workbench. I want to collect data from a beaker, so let's move the probe to the liquid on the hot plate and see the reaction time of this probe style. As you can see, the probe reaction time is extremely fast and it stabilizes quickly. This concludes our demonstration of the Direct Temp Probe. Be sure to visit www.thermistor.com for more information on the Direct Temp family of sensors as well as all of your temperature sensing needs.